<laughs> Welcome back to What's the 4 in 1 where we're talking to the singer artist extraordinaire Cindy Rain. Welcome back. Thanks. So we were talking so much about, you know, spirituality and getting yourself really centered and how that's helping you with your music and you're feeling better about yourself. Mm -hmm. And that brings me to the song, Irresistible Me. <laughs> Girl, you're rocking out in that song. You're like Thank confident you. in everything. Talk about like the process of making that song. <laughs> so it's pretty ironic because that song was not, it did not come from a confident place at all. I was in a situationship when I wrote that song oh. and it was kind of like me trying to prove to myself that I was good enough. And it's very interesting because the first draft of that song, the lyrics were very different. It was like your typical, um, okay, so the first version of the first verse was, um, took a look in the mirror, noticing my smile, had to stop for a second, I caught my own eye. Favorite jeans, favorite clutch, and my pearls, and the shoes that make me feel like I'm on top of the world. So. Um, nice. I was talking about an outfit that I didn't own because I was totally, I cared not at all about my appearance. Mm -hmm. And it was my picture of what a confident woman looked like. Mm, okay. So when a few years later, when I came back and revisited the song, like I changed the lyrics. And those lyrics changed to wave goodbye to that scared little girl. Now I really feel like I can conquer the world. Mm -hmm. And it changed the meaning of the song from, you know, a vision of what I thought confidence was to like, no, like, this is real. <laughs> like, I'm, you know, I used to be afraid and I'm no longer afraid. Like, we're doing this for real. Nice. 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 And I like how you brought in different women and all the different women oh, are yes, looking confident so and stuff like that. <laughs> so was that, did you have that concept in your head when you decided um, to make the video? Actually, no, not at all. What, the, the concept that I had was uh, the pole concept because I started taking pole classes at um, S Factor oh, yeah. in maybe 2014, 2015. And that was like the first time in my life I had ever felt like sexy and confident. So when I thought about Irresistible Me, I was like, there needs to be some pole in this video. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Um, my videographer, he was the one who came up with the idea of the vignettes of all of the different women and it just works together. So we just put it all together. Um, and like that, the, the video it was just so much fun. It looked yeah. like fun. It looked like fun. Nice. Dancing across New York City, basically. <laughs> yes. So you talked about um, Asha, the, the artist that really like inspires you. Is, is there, are there any other artists that inspire you and kind of make you think, hmm, like you may want to work with them. Hmm. Jill Scott. I, I can see that vibe. Scott. I can mm -hmm. definitely see that vibe in. Yeah. Yeah, she has, she's definitely all about like sensuality and loving mm -hmm. herself mm -hmm. and that confidence and stuff like that. I yes. see it. I definitely see it. What do you want from your music? I want my music to heal people. Oh, oh wow. That's powerful. That just hit me <laughs> right here. Wow. So what what is next in terms of like music? So you're out with the EP, you have five songs on it. What's happening next? So now I am performing more. I have my first international gig in Switzerland in July. Oh. I'm super excited oh about my God. that. How did that come about? Um, <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> no, no. I like, no. laughing. So my day job is that I am a, a voice and piano teacher mm -hmm. and last oh, okay. summer I had a student who was from Switzerland he took lessons throughout the summer and at the end of the summer he said well I'm about to go back to my country now and I was like oh you're leaving and he was like oh by the way I own a restaurant in Switzerland and once a year or a couple times a year we have bands come out and perform would you like to come and I Are said of course! Oh, right. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. So we set that up. It's happening in the beginning of July. I'm excited. Yeah. Um, I have a couple of friends right now who are working on South Africa for 2020. We Ooh, did, yeah. did we introduce the, the, I don't know. Did that happen? Yeah, yes. she did it outside. Okay. okay. Yeah, because okay. she's doing South Follow Africa up. too. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, the okay. synergy. The right. synergy. You guys have similar energies. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Both mm -hmm. have definitely like that very mm. spiritual kind of connectedness yes as well. that's what i yes. love you feel so calm <laughs> <laughs> oh this is this are is you amazing. an aquarius no i'm a sagittarius 
kind of close. My mom's a Sagittarius, <laughs> and she has that very connected kind of like spiritual. Everything's very philosophical, mm-hmm. and everything is connected, it and she is, puts though. the, the dots together. One. Yeah, so she does yeah. that a lot too. Um, so you talked about Europe, you talked about South Africa. So where can people see you here? Yeah, I will be at the Groove Club on June seventeenth at seven. Is that the Google uh-huh. Street? Yes. Yeah, I know the Groove. I, I, I'm oh a yeah, I know there. So I'm there. always down there. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Probably, you know, me at some point. You never know. Ooh. Well, the music people, like, they kind of like do their own thing, but maybe. Yeah, we'll have yeah. to connect anyway. Maybe we'll come. Yes. 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 That's what we should do. Which which day is it? June seventeenth. It's a Monday night, June seventeenth, seven p.m. June seventeenth, seven p.m. The Groove. So do they mm-hmm. get do they get tickets? How do they get? It's a five dollar. It's a five dollar cover. You just show up. And you just pay show $5. up. Come on, guys! You gotta see this. It's gonna be a great show. Before she blows up, you can see her for five dollars. This is not your average singer songwriter. You, you're gonna get like Ella Fitzgerald vibe. Like it's. I was like, I did not. Like I didn't expect (laughs) that. You know, I didn't expect you to sound like that. Mm. I just did not. Really? I I didn't. Really? I didn't like. It's like just the piano and it, it just yeah, yeah. You love it. I'm so proud of you. Thank you very yes. much. And so glad to meet you. I'm glad to meet you all Thank too. You. And share your, your all your social media handles yes. so, so we can find you. I am at Cindy Rain on Instagram and Facebook, and it's spelled C I N D Y R A I N N E. Um, and on YouTube, it's Cindy Rain Music. And I'm on Twitter, but I'm not really on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> but it's yeah, the same handle at yeah. Cindy Rain. So all of her social media is Cindy Rain. Mm-hmm. And the website, www.cindyrain.com. Does yeah. anyone use the www? We do because Onika oh, does. No, no, Onika does. <laughs> I don't. Onika does. <laughs> I like to say worldwide when. So thank you so much for being here with us. Thanks we for having We had so me. much fun. I had fun too. Thank yeah, you. and I'm going to start right. following you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And make um, sure you guys follow her too, okay? Bye-bye. Bye.